Hey there friends, it's Mike here with another online art lesson for you. Today's lesson is going to be rolled magazine bowls. It's a really fun lesson. Uh, can be a little bit long and repetitive, some of the processes, but it's a good one to do with staff or um, host home providers, family, friends. Uh, it's, it's a fun one to do in a group. You get to make something that's recycled or upcycled and you get to keep it or give it away to friends or whoever and uh, could even be something that we could try to sell. So I hope you enjoy the lesson and I really look forward to seeing you all in class here soon. So enjoy. Hi there friends, this is art instructor Mike here with another lesson for you. Uh, today our lesson is going to be rolled magazine bowls. So this is a really fun lesson. Um, just going to give you a fair warning. It does take a while. It is a pretty uh, repetitive, uh, long process to get the end result, but it's a great one for when you have a little extra time. Um, and it's also a great activity to kind of upcycle some stuff in your house that you might uh, not be using anymore. So it doesn't take all that many materials. We're going to be um, upcycling any old magazine that you have, that's our first material. <clears throat> Any magazine that you have lying around that you're not using anymore, uh, we're going to use a whole bunch of the pages from inside. Uh, ideally one with some color to it is nice, so anything with some nice uh, bright colors in it would be great. So I picked this uh, one on flowers that I had uh, sitting around. So. That's going to be our first uh, material. Next, we're going to need some tape. Scotch tape is best. Uh, maybe packing tape. Any kind of see-through tape is uh, works best with this activity. Next, we have uh, so any kind of adhesive. So uh, <clears throat> white glue works great. You can use Mod Podge or any kind of see-through adhesive. Even a homemade adhesive can work with like flour and cornstarch. I have a recipe for that that I can send out. Next we will need to work with the adhesive a uh, paintbrush or a piece of tissue paper, um, maybe paper towel, a sponge, anything like that will work. Uh, next we have a ruler. You don't have to have it but I like to just keep it on hand. Sometimes it helps you make the folds that we're going to be making. So having a ruler on hand doesn't hurt. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's all you need. So let's just jump right into the activity, shall we? Okay, so now we have our pages all ripped out of our magazine. I recognize that some magazines are going to be a little bit easier or more difficult to pull the pages out of, but if you just give it a nice, uh, kind of get the page open, push down the center a little bit, uh, they should be relatively easy to just pop right out. So, so I pulled out the whole magazine. Uh, we probably won't end up using all of these pages, but uh, you know, you can uh, save the remainder and do another one if you want. Um, we're going to keep on upcycling, recycling our materials. So let's just jump right into it. So I'm going to start with my first piece of paper. What I'm going to do is, so I want to keep, I like this blue color with the flowers. So I want this to be on my outside edge of my first, uh, what we're going to call strip. Um, so we are going to, so Flip it upside down. We're going to start by just folding it uh, hot dog length in half. We'll meet our corner up at the side there. And we'll push it down. Fold it right in half. <clears throat> Another thing, <clears throat> if you got a little scotch tape uh, dispenser here, you can use that to kind of help you push down the edges, get it really nice and 
nice and folded there, a nice crisp fold. So we're gonna open it back up. Now we're gonna take this side, fold it in toward that crease we just made. So we're basically folding this half in half, all this long hot dog style way. So do that. Fold our crease, flip it around. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna meet it in the middle, right on that crease. Push down, make sure it's nice and even on both sides. Push it down, get a nice crease on that side. So we've essentially folded our piece of paper in two quarters. One, two, three, four. Okay, but now we're gonna go back to that, uh, our, you know, original folding pattern here. And we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna take this side, we're gonna fold it in. Just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Beautiful. Okay, now we've essentially folded our paper into eighths. But no need to do that. We're, we don't, you don't got to open it back up. You can just leave it just like this. And we are going to do that process one more time. So we're going to fold, keep folding in toward that crease, just like that. Beautiful, nice, even creases here, even strips. And that's what we're really going for here is we want our uh, strips or slats, I guess you could also call them, uh, to be nice and even. We want them all essentially to be the same size. So that's why this works out so well. All these magazine pages are the same size. So if we fold in those nice, even strips there, then, we're, then the last phase, we're gonna fold it just right in half, just like that. Really, it's because it's folded up so much, I think it's now been folded into sixteenths. You know, it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty sturdy piece of paper here. So really try and just give it a nice, nice fold, nice crease there. So then, yeah, we got ourselves our first slat here, or a uh, strip. So this is going to be the foundation of our bowls. Essentially what we're going to do, so we're the, the next phase, we're going to make a whole mess of these. All those magazine pages that you had, we're going to make like, I would say between, depending on the size of bowl you want, it all depends on the size of the bowl. We're going to make between 15 and 30 of these. So we're going to do that process about 15 to 30 times. So let's just get into it then. Let's just keep on making our folds here. I'm going to use a different piece of paper. I want a nice, pretty floral one. So I'll use, uh, I'll use this side. So once again, Fold it, half, nice and even. This is a quite the hand and arm workout here, so Get ready to be doing some exercising of your fingers, hands, arms. It's uh, 
it's an involved project let me tell you so we're just going to keep on making our folds here this is a good uh this is a good project if you're sitting around and making doing this kind of initial groundwork it's a nice time to put on a movie or listen to a podcast or listen to the radio listen to some music it's a very relaxed relaxing meditative process here and if you want you can make it last a, you can do part of it in a day part of it in two days doesn't matter how long it takes you just as long as you're having fun learning something so okay so we are going to make a big old pile of these slats it'll look something like this from the side kind of a triangle um, and then it'll be nice and flat like that so let's just uh, keep on going here <laughs> 